Every year, over 35 million pounds of sablefish are caught in the waters off Alaska. Also known as black cod or butterfish, sablefish are prized for their flavor, texture, and health benefits, making them one of the highest valued fin fish per pound in Alaska. To help monitor the sablefish population, each year the Alaska Fisheries Science Center conducts a longline survey in all waters off Alaska. Catches from this survey are used to help assess the trends in abundance of sablefish and other ground fish. Each summer, a commercial factory longliner is contracted to conduct the survey over approximately 80 days. The same locations have been fished every year since 1979. This makes the survey one of the oldest time series of ground fish abundance in Alaska. Fish are caught using longline gear, a nine mile long ground line that contains hooks baited with squid. The gear sinks to the seafloor where it samples fish near the bottom. While the longline gear is being hauled on board, several NOAA scientists count, measure, tag, and take data on fish that are caught. One scientist documents what's on every single hook. That's 7,200 hooks every day. Once the fish enter the factory, lengths are taken from several of the most common species, including sablefish. These lengths are used to examine the size composition of the population and are a crucial component for monitoring sablefish populations. As fish are caught, scientists randomly tag and release sablefish and other species with external tags that are visible when they are re-caught. Tags are recovered by fishermen and processors, then returned to NOAA through a tag reward program. This data provides information on the growth and movement of the tagged fish. Tags have been recovered up to 35 and a half years later and 2,500 miles away. Other sablefish are randomly sampled for aging. Scientists determine the gender, maturity, and the size of a fish before dissecting out the ear bones, called otoliths, from the skull. Otoliths put on growth rings throughout a fish's life, much like a tree, and can be used to determine a fish's age. Over a thousand otoliths from the survey are aged each year to estimate the age distribution of adults in the population. In addition to the primary data collections, scientists also conduct other research. Killer whales and sperm whales sometimes take fish from longlines. Scientists are researching the behavior of these whales in efforts to understand the effects they have on survey and fishery catches. Scientists also implant fish, such as this lingcod, with archival tags which continuously take data on depth and temperature. An external tag is also attached to the fish so that when it is caught again in the fishery, the archival tag can be recovered. This type of information leads to a better understanding of a fish's habitat use. After the data is collected each day, it is downloaded to laptops on the vessel. At the end of the survey, the data is brought back to the Bay Laboratories and incorporated into a database. Data on many of the groundfish caught on the survey can be accessed at the Alaska Fisheries Science Center's website. Through the longline survey, NOAA scientists gain insight into the population trends and biology of ground fish in Alaska. Ensuring sustainable fisheries is a major responsibility of NOAA and will help preserve the commercial fishing legacy Alaska is known for.